We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. Oh, headshot! Hey, it's Clay. How are you guys doing? And I am pumped out of my mind right now. I am literally, literally out of my brain because I am so pumped. Oh, it's a big sigh of relief right there because I am done with finals. I am currently a student in law school, uh, just finishing my third semester. And uh, just finished my finals. They were insane. They were craziness. If, if you guys are unfamiliar with law school in general, they uh, use cumulative exams at the end of your semester, and that is generally your entire grade. So you go to class every day throughout the semester, and then at the end you take one big test over everything, and that is your grade. So it makes it a wee bit stressful. Uh, but I'm done with it. I got through it all, and I've survived, and now I'm on a gigantically long Christmas break, and I am just so pumped. I got a ton of vids to play to catch up on. I got Battlefield 3. As you guys can see, I'm playing Aftermath. This is so legit. I am s extremely excited to play some Aftermath. Got some Planetside 2 to play. Got some uh, StarCraft 2. Heart of the Swarm's coming out in, in the springtime, and I'm currently in the beta playing a bunch of that. Got some Black Ops 2, which actually I'm still been playing. And did I just drop shot that dude? That is not cool, man. This is not Call of Duty. My Black Ops 2 has been wearing off on my gameplay too much. I gotta quit that. But yes, just wanted to give you guys a quick little update and uh, let you guys know that I'm back after a bit of a... I, I, I posted a little bit, but that was mostly because I had some videos prepared from uh, bef the week before I started finals. Um... Yes, Aftermath is out, Christmas break is on, and I am pumped. I'm going to play a ton of vids, have a ton of videos for you guys coming up soon, so be ready for that. I'm really excited, and uh, so yeah, I kind of wanted to, uh, now that I've kind of given you guys the update on my life, how I'm doing, where I'm at, how things are sitting, how awesome I'm doing, and how pumped out of my mind I am. Did I, did I say, did I mention that I'm pumped out of my mind? Because I'm actually pumped out of my mind. But now that we've gotten that out of the way, I wanted to talk about... How did I get that headshot? That was crazy. Oh, and then here, there's three dudes. But I want to talk about Aftermath. This is actually... Um, so I have a little bit of a confession to make. And if you've followed my channel for any time, you will know that I was a, quite a bit critical of Af the uh, Battlefield Premium. Just model, business model, the way that it forces you into paying up front... Um, you get a little bit of a bonus, so you know you don't have to pay quite so much, but you also are locked into getting all the DLCs before you even try them and know how good they are. That was just kind of my general beef with it, but uh, I actually broke down and I looked at the economics, and because I have bought Close Quarters and I bought the initial game I bought came with Strike at Carcan, the only one I had not purchased was Aftermath. And so uh, Premium right now, they give you a discount based on the number of DLCs that you own. And the way that the discount panned out... It was pretty much that if I buy Aftermath and Endgame, it was actually the same exact price as if I just bought Premium. And so, you know, and I don't know how Endgame is going to be, but I feel like at this point I'm pretty much just committed to it. I'm going to get it. I'm probably, and I've heard such good things about Aftermath that I was really certain that I was going to get that. So I just went ahead and bought Premium. Um, but I'm okay with it. I still think that it fits with my previous philosophical position that you know, I, I only want to pay for a product once I am certain that it is of you know good quality and standing. That it, that it is not a disappointment. That it is up to what I want it to be. Um, and I'm I'm really excited about where things are at. And so I I went ahead and bought Premium and I downloaded this. I uh, so I've been playing it now for the last couple of days. And I'm, at first I really didn't know what to make of it. It's really I feel like you know this is probably true of any game, but map knowledge is so extremely important. Uh, and that's something I want to talk about quite a bit is, so I, I, for a long time in Battlefield 3, like, like probably at least 70% of my Battlefield 3 gameplay has probably been spent on Operation Metro. And I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm not, you know, sad about that because I actually think Metro is a really fun map. You know, when you play 32-man rush on Metro, I think that's really fun. You know, 64-man conquest is an absolute idiot fest. But I actually really think that 32-man rush is really fun. Um, I had a long point streak there. But, you know, with these new maps, anytime you learn a new map, you're just like, oh my gosh, I have no idea where I'm getting shot from. I don't even know where the lines of attack are, the lines of sight. I don't even know 
Like, when we were attacking this base, I had literally no idea how to get down to the A bomb site. It just looked like this hidden imaginary bomb that was down in the ground. And I just, I just couldn't handle it. I just had no idea what to do. So, you know, it definitely takes a little while to kind of get your bearing and get, uh, you know, accumulated, assimilated, you know, with these maps and kind of learn how they roll, how the traffic patterns go, uh, where the places to defend are. So, when I'm in that situation, I've learned to just slap on an M16 and go try hard. Um, and, you know, I actually had a really good game. I had a, a really, really solid game in terms of points on this match. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've really been enjoying it. I've been playing some Scavenger, which I think is fun. It's actually a pretty cool game type. It definitely is a little bit crazy, a little bit rat racy, if that makes sense. But I think that, you know, um, like one of my complaints with Planetside 2 is that there's no, like, downtime game. There's no, like, change of pace. It's just all try hard all the time. And I feel like in Battlefield 3, you know, if you want to try hard, you can play Rush. If you want to, you know, you can play Conquest. But if you want to kind of lollygag, you know, Gunmaster kind of flopped. But I feel like Scavenger is a really good fit for that. Um, and it's also good to learn the maps. You, you kind of have more free reign to run around and try different things. But, you know, when I bought Aftermath, I bought it with the mindset and intention that I am a Rush guy. And this is these are good Rush maps. Um, I'm an infantry guy. These are good infantry maps. And so, you know, that was a completely my reasoning. And I have not been disappointed. I am having a blast on these maps playing Rush. I think that they are really great. Um, they just play so fantastically. You know, one of the things towards the end of the game is I actually kind of get a feel for this second, or this, I believe this is the first bomb site. You know, kind of getting a feel for how the flank patterns all go. And I start to really try to push the enemy's flank as they kind of are, as it, their team is kind of collapsing in on our front door. So I, you know, this, this left flank here is something that I keep coming to trying to get behind them just to like kind of fluster them and make them pull back and make them you know possibly lose a spawn beacon or just a spawn point in general on a teammate and so my my objective is yeah this this little line of sight right here where those guys are pouring in the middle there's so many I mean there was just so many look at how many guys are over there just racking up kills um, and I think that this in terms of rush maps these are so so good they play so well you know, there are, you know, so this stairwell here is a pretty narrow choke point, you know, very Operation Metro-esque. But then you also have, you know, the, the other flanks. You've got the right flank, you know, with that, that I, that I just came from with that garage. You've got the whole other side, which has, um, you know, like the, the, the huge rubble from the, from the earthquake. And, you know, it just, the, the, the trafficking at least on this map, and of all the other Army Kill map or Aftermath maps that I've played thus far, has been really, really good. You know, it's it's a fine balance between... Because one of the things about Metro is you know where the action is going to be. Like, you literally know exactly where the peak spots are. I mean, you know everything about it. And I think that makes it really fun. Because, you know, it's you know how to get into the action. You know how to kind of tactically, you know, do that little dance with the team with your enemy team. And, but, you know, sometimes it just gets a little bit like, you know, there's there, it's too clogged down. And there's no way that you can get a flank off and try to get a, around an enemy uh, if they've got a fortified position. But I feel like these maps do a fantastic job of balancing, you know, having enough, uh, quote-unquote, choke points where the action is con con concentrated so it's not boring. It's not like Armored Kill where, you know, it's just so spread out. Um, but then at the same time, it's not too condensed, you know, like on Metro, where you literally only have to watch, like, two or three doorways. Um, you know, like right here, you've got a pretty narrow choke point, but it is like a big garage, you know, so you can't just have one guy with an LNG sit down and bipod it up. Um, you know, it, I, I really think that it's, it's a solid, solid set of maps for Rush, and I'm really excited about that. You know, and it really highlights, I think, in my mind, the importance of good map design. Uh, map design, I think, is extremely underrated. You know, and especially in the in the era of you know DLCs and map packs and all that stuff. You know, maps. It's almost just like they're a dime a dozen. You know, you add you add so many new maps, but you know, I feel like a lot of times they just are trash. I feel like one of the biggest complaints that people have with Call of Duty specifically is that the maps are just so. I mean, it, it's not just that they're chaotic; they're just so open. 
and they're just in the especially with the way that the spawns work it's so random that you definitely feel like there's there's almost nothing you could do you know you just kind of get shot in the back a lot you know another huge point streak here this is so legit i love this map you know, but I feel like map design is a really fine art. You know, think about Counter-Strike Source, if you guys played that at all. You know, a map like Dust 2. I mean, that map was so good in terms of competitive play, in terms of casual play. I mean, it was a, such a fantastic map. You had long lines of sight, you had narrow choke points, you had close quarters. I mean, you had everything. It, there were tactics, there was strategy. It was just such a good map. And for people who play Counter-Strike Source, I mean, literally, you people have probably played, like, an individual, I bet there are individuals out there, not even, like, the really hardcore, just guys who, like, were really into Counter-Strike Source, who played DE Dust 2 literally thousands of times. You know, they just, you just hop into a 24-7 Dust 2 server, and you play Counter-Strike over and over and over again. You know, there are probably uh, hundreds of individuals who have done that. It's not rare at all. And that was because it was a fantastic map design. And I feel like, you know, if Battlefield 3 can take a playbook out of, you know, what did we do good in Aftermath? I think is that they had good map design. And that is what's carrying this DLC. And I think that more than anything, that is gonna give going to give more life into Battlefield 3. You know, think about how many people are back in the game. The server browser is, you know, quite full. There's a lot of, of Aftermath servers running. Actually, this is this is after the fact. This is after the big premium push on release. Um, and actually, I've a little bit been complaining that there aren't a ton of rush-specific aftermath servers. I would love to see a 32-man rush-only aftermath rotation server. I would love to see that. Um, but you know, I again, this DLC is about awesome map design, and I think that for that reason, it is a fantastic choice. It is such a winner. I'm loving it. I'm really having a great time. Um, excited for this Christmas break to play more and more and more Aftermath. Continue posting Battlefield 3 footage. Because uh, I think this was the shot in the arm that I personally needed uh, to bring myself, you know, to really feel the fire for Battlefield 3 again. Um, I think that this definitely uh, could be that thing that helps me just keep playing. Just keep enjoying this game because it is a really, really good shooter. So... That's the end of the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Please leave a comment and a rating, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.